as we, we go forward in the future, we have to uh, still pr produce food for a large human population, but in a way that doesn't use a lot of external inputs, as few as possible. Also, we need to reinstate natural functions on the grasslands right around the world, because essentially mankind has marched across the grasslands, replacing them with monocultures of crops, and uh, where possible, we need to reinstate those full functions for catchment health, for the general biodiversity uh, health, but also for the global issues such as climate change. This enterprise can be added on top of what's existing on a, a whole farm basis, it's not instead of. So whatever people are doing on that, that property there at the moment, they can add no kill on the, on the top. No-kill cropping has five main principles and uh, number one is sowing dry. This is the main reason that no-kill works. It gives the plant that we're planting the head start on growth. So when moisture comes, it gets a, a, a head start ahead of uh, the weeds that are, or any other plants that are in alongside it. It's advantaged. So that's the only advantage it gets but it's an important one and that's enough. Number two is uh, uh, straight running coulter equipment to uh, place the seed in the ground. We have double disc units which run straight through the grass sward, cutting rather than dragging. We're not about disturbing soil because what we want to do is place the seed in the soil with the minimum disturbance. These sort of units do that quite effectively. The seed delivery mechanism above it can be very, very cheap. Old machinery will do. So it's matching new with old. Number three is, um, uh, is uh, no uh, chemicals or herbicides. Uh, used at all and the reason for that is that we don't want to simplify anything that's there. We want the full grassland there. We want every possible plant and combination of plant which gives us every possible combination of insect and animal that will thrive on that area. It's important to see and recognise that we are dealing with a lot of components here. It's not just the, the crop itself but we've got a full range of other plants mixed in here because we've been able to retain everything and if we didn't sow the crop at all we'd get this sort of a result here where whatever wanted to grow in this pasture would but we can actually get extra by planting our desirable plants in there without damaging what we already have. Number four is uh, no fertiliser the same reason as, uh, as number three, we don't want to simplify the, the, the grassland by over advantaging some species rather than others. Uh, part of that principle too is that it's not using external resources, finite resources. Uh, we would need to keep the costs of our enterprise down low. No-kill cropping must be done cheaply or it won't be an option. And the fifth principle is good grazing management. I'm talking about grazing management that provides the, uh, the adequate rest and recovery for a full sward of plants, particularly perennial plants, to thrive under those conditions and returns enough nutrients from the animals as evenly as possible over the whole landscape.